Hey guys, today I'm going to do my March favorites. I'm going to show you products that I've been really liking this past month. I've been trying out a lot of new lip colors and I've been drawn to a lot of different shades. I haven't been wearing too much blush or foundation or anything else this month, so most of these are lip products. Let's get started with what I'm wearing right now. For a lip liner, I'm using the Annabelle Boysenberry Waterproof Lip Liner. And this is, I think, my favorite formula and kind of lip pencil that they have. They give you a lot of product. I love that it's waterproof. This color is gorgeous. So that's a swatch of it there. And it really matches nicely to the uh, matte lipstick that I have on top. So on top, I have the new Inglot HD Lip Tint in shade 15. This is a gorgeous shade. It's a nice berry pink kind of color. Really, really nice. It reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick uh, in Bauhaus. It reminds me a lot of that shade. And the finish on these as well is nice and matte. A little bit on the thinner side, so I applied two thin coats to get a fully opaque lip. Another liquid lipstick that I've been really enjoying is from LA Girl. This is their matte flat finish pigment gloss in Timeless. And this is a really nice wearable mauve pink kind of slightly purple lip color. So there it is. I really love this. It looks really nice. It's very affordable. I purchased mine off Amazon and that color is just amazing. Another product that I got off Amazon is the W7 Liquid Kiss Lipstick and I did a full review and lip swatches on these. I got three of these for $12. That is such an amazing price. This one is my favorite in Moulin Rouge and there is the swatch at the end. So it's a very wearable red. It's a little bit quieter than some other reds that I have, a little bit more muted. It's not like a neon red. I think it looks amazing. I've worn it a few times when I've been filming and I just love the shade. I think it looks really, really nice. Very flattering. Moving on to more of a hydrating lip. I've been trying out the Annabelle Big Show lacquers and I also did my review and lip swatch video for these and these two shades are my favorite. So Love Fiercely is a beautiful red with a little bit of a sheen to it and Hypnotize Deeply is really interesting. It looks quite dark in the tube but it's like a hot pink berry shade so you'll see a trend with all of these colors but I've been really liking these. They stain the lips a bit. You can wear them on their own over a lipstick, over a lip stain. They feel really nice and hydrating on the lips. And then the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Jelly uh, Lip Balms. So the shade is Jelly. And I also talked about these. This is a gorgeous shade, very nice and hydrating. It's quite sheer. So it does have that similar kind of cool toned shade to it and I love the smell of these. It's kind of like a pink lemonade. Yeah, very nice light fresh scent. So I've been loving trying those out. Let's move on to eyes. For eyeshadow palettes, the Tartlet Tease palette I've been trying and I really like this. The shades are really, really pretty. I would have to say my favorite shade is First Kiss. It's such an interesting shade, like a taupe with a little bit of a pink sheen to it. Um, Crush is a really nice shade as well. This brown and plum are gorgeous. The pigmentation is amazing. The color combination there is really pretty. The size of this palette is really nice and compact, so I would recommend it. It was a good price too, pretty affordable for what it is, and I've been really enjoying that. Most of my eye looks have been pretty neutral, like browns or slightly plum shades, so I've been using that a lot. What I use for my eyes today is the CoverGirl True Naked Roses. And this is my favorite out of the two that I've tried. I definitely really like the matte shades, uh, the slightly pinker shades. And I mixed a little bit of these three in my crease, but I stuck mostly to this shade, which is a really, really nice, slightly purple rose shade. 
As for mascara, the Marcel Extension Plus Pro Lash Growth Complex Mascara has been amazing. It's their fortifying and lengthening mascara. And this gives me amazing lashes. Very thick, very bold, very volumized, not clumpy. It's quick to apply. It goes on easily and I just think it's amazing. It doesn't flake or chip or whatever else. It lasts all day and it removes nice and easily at the end of the night. So I've been really liking that. As for my nails, this is one of my favorite nail polishes. I've had it on for four days now and only one tiny little chip there. This is the CND Vinyl X Nail Polish in Wisteria Haze. And I love this. It's a kind of blue tone purple. Uh, great for spring. I'm probably a little early wearing it, but... Well, it's Easter. It's Easter, so I think it's okay. But I love this color. I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this last product, also from Amazon, is the Suction Black Mask from that brand. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. So, lots of Chinese writing there. Essentially, this is a black charcoal mask. There's a lot of different brands who have products like this off Amazon and eBay. This is really cool. You apply it either as like a pore strip to your nose or chin or wherever you have blackheads or all over your face. Uh, you wanna apply like a medium layer and peel it off and it works like a really good pore strip, especially I did my boyfriend, my fiance now actually, and uh, his, yeah, it works really well for him. He does have uh, definitely more blackheads than I do, and it's a really cool mask. It's $7, so I did purchase a few more that are on their way. So I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.